Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. And this is Photoshop Element 6. This is a continuation of our video tutorials. On this video tutorial, we are going to look how to take a picture that you snapped, but somehow the camera wasn't straight um, in relationship to its background. For some reason, something happened and your camera was tilted one way or the other, and something just doesn't look straight enough. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to straighten a picture so you can actually save it. There's no sense deleting it because it might be something or someone that you really want to keep. So we're going to work with two different uh, actual pictures here. And what I did was first of all, go back to my show all, is, if we go down here, I actually created a new uh, subfolder and I created an album called Demos. Now, these are just some demo shots I've been snapping around the house for these tutorials. And what I'm going to use is this picture frame and my little buddy here, this gnome. So if I click on that, and then I control click on this, or on a Mac, it's command click. I'm going to right click, because I have two selected, I'll right click and say full edit. Now let's open these up in the full editor. just a simple way if you're going to work on more than one actual picture then you can go ahead and actually open up more than one picture and have them down here in our bin this bin down here is basically just a, a, a file or a picture holder of uh, pictures we actually want to work on so first of all I'm going to go ahead and take this back one here and just minimize it and all it does is hides it down here in the bin now this one, we're going to select View, Fit the Screen. Just blow it up a little bit so we can see what's going on. And then, as always, I'm going to make a copy of my background layer. Just left click on it with your mouse and drag it up to the new layer, and then we have an exact duplicate that we can work with. That way we won't destroy the primary picture itself. Now that we have that background layer copied, we're ready to go ahead and straighten our picture. As you can see, for whatever reason, I had the camera tilted somewhat, and my gnome is kind of leaning off to the right. We want to get him straightened up so he looks better in his picture. And to do that, it's very simple, very simply done. We'll go under Image, the pull-down menu for Image on the top, go to Rotate, and then what I like to do is go down here to Free Rotate Layer. What that's going to do is take the layer that we just created and make it ro to, to rotate freely. You can grab any of these points and you actually rotate this thing in different ways. I like to grab this top point. See how my mouse and I hope you can hopefully you can see this on the video is changing to a like a half looped double arrow. Now if I left click, all I got to do is just move towards the right or the opposite direction of the tilt and start tilting my gnome back upright. We're going to get him upright here and if you look at the bottom is the easy way to tell because he's sitting on something and actually this is a bookshelf I'll let you I'll fill the in on that one and I just leave it go once I get to where I want it to be that way he looks pretty straight if not we're not completely done yet we can go ahead and we can straighten him a little bit more and that looks pretty good. Then down here you remember these little this little check mark or the little Ghostbuster icon. You can click this and actually uh, cancel this or just go ahead and click the check and actually set that in. Now what we did was we actually rotated him on that layer, rotated that layer to straighten the gnome up to make him stand more upright. And what's going to happen here is it, we're actually losing pixels behind here. You can't see that right now, but if you look here, you can see where this, this leaning part is over here. Well, that's no good. That's going to ruin our whole picture. So we have to get that out of there. Well, the only reason that there is because the background layer is still selected. If you look at the little eyeball, see it says indicator indicates layer visibility. That means if the eyeball is lit, that means that layer is visible. Let's go ahead and just click that off. Now you can see what I was talking about. When we turned this, it straightened it up, but it couldn't straighten the bent or the leaning 
pixels up. So what it does, it cuts those off. And it makes that a transparency in the background. So if we print this, that's what exactly what it's going to look like. It's kind of going to look like a, a leaning thing on a uh, straight picture. It's kind of a, a weird uh, phenomenal there, but that's how it would print out. I've done that a few times. So now we have to make a couple adjustments to this. And what we need to do, and you're probably thinking already, Jack, from your other tutorials, I would say we need to crop this down. And you're exactly right. Let's go over here and get our crop tool. Left click on that. And we're going to crop the good picture out. And we're going to leave those dead pixels or those transparency pixels in the background. We're just going to leave those go because we don't need those. You have a really decent uh, megapixel camera. And that's one of the most important things. The more megapixels, the better uh, you can do with cropping because it's not going to ever get blurred. You can keep pulling pieces of your picture out and it's not going to get blurred. If you don't have enough pixels, as you're cropping, it's going to become what's known as pixelated. And it's going to be look slightly blurry to you and it's not going to be worth printing or framing. Once we get our crop done, go down here and hit the green check mark. And now as you can see our gnome is full frame again. If we fit him to screen, he's full frame again and he's relatively straight. We probably could have straightened this a little bit more. So take your time and get it perfect. But now you're saying, Jack, we still got transparent pixels here. We can't crop this off because we'll cut the gnome's feet off. He won't be able to stand any longer. Hmm. How are we going to fix that? Well, if you remember a tutorial a while back, we talked about the clone stamp tool this little tool right here. What the clone stamp tool allows you to do is hide mistakes, right? We took a picture and we we used the clone stamp tool and we kind of hid uh, something in the actual picture itself. So what we're going to use that to do is kind of use this to fill this in with this black. So we click on the clone stamp tool. We look at our brush size. And if you want to get this brush size up, you see how my mouse changes to a little finger? You can actually click in here and you can drag this. You don't have to open the, the mouse thing or the uh, actual drop down, but you can. Now let's see here. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good size. Hold your Alt key down. See the bullseye? Let's do it again. Let's see the bullseye? That's where we're going to sample from. Let's sample from there. So we hold the Alt key down and we left click. Then all we got to do is draw right in here, real delicately up by that blue. Then let's just draw down here. Hold your left click down, and what I mean by draw is just move around. You're actually just painting this in. And we're cloning it just to make sure we're getting the exact pattern or whatever we have there by it. You may have to sample a couple times. And there we go. And just get that down there. And there you have it. Now the gnome is straight. We have no more lost pixels in the bottom, no more transparencies. And you could have did this with the whole thing, but first you wanted to crop it just to make sure it's straight on your screen before you start working on it. Okay, folks, that is how you straighten a picture up. And if you wanted to see the second picture, here, let's pull this up into here. That'll open it up. And we would do the same thing. I just wanted to show you this frame because of the way the top is tilted. Again, duplicate the layer, and then just simply go to Image, Rotate, and then Free Rotate Layer. This is just that frame, the top of the frame is just another vantage point of seeing where it would be straight. At that point that's straight, click the plus, and then once that cuts itself out there, we can simply go in and crop it out. And there you go. Shut this one off. You can see where you have to crop. There you are. And just simply crop it out. We'll just crop it down to here to make this a little relatively quick because we're running out of time in our 10 minute segments. And there we go. If I fit the screen, you'll be able to see it. Now it's relatively straight. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to straighten your pictures. Uh, hopefully you don't get too many ones that's leaning to the left or the right, but sometimes it does happen. I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner with Photoshop Elements 6 Tutorials. Bye for now.